up YouTube? Welcome back to Spruce Father, where I review movie, TV, and other stuff. I'm your host Ezekiel, and I have bad luck when it comes to staircases. Uh, I can't help but slip, trip, or fall on the stairs. I don't know what it is. Something about them. They don't like me. I don't like them. We've gotten a couple of a couple of hand-to-hand -hand combats. I lose every time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not always the best when it comes to stairs. Uh, and when we ran in the military, we had to run our stairs sometimes. Sucked. I was always nervous about falling. Always did fall. Uh, I actually still have scars on my legs, on my left leg, because about uh, seven or eight years ago, I had to run back into the house to get something for the wife and the kids and I took a corner too fast and boom smacked my shin right on the stairs it was a uh, outside kind of metal uh, me, stone stairs so it, it scraped me up pretty bad I had to walk it off pretend like I wasn't hurt because the family was watching they was already laughing I didn't need it <laughs> it didn't need nothing else from them <laughs> Yeah, so today we are watching the official teaser trailer for The Staircase. It is coming out on HBO Max um, on May 5th. Okay, Thursday, May 5th on HBO Max. It's a limited series. It is about a man named Michael Peterson and his wife, Kathleen Peterson. Uh, apparently... His wife died and was found under a staircase, and this has uh, been a <clears throat> a subject of contention and uh, conversation for a while. So they turn it into a, a kind of bio flick. Let's go ahead and get plugged in and watch. This house is filled with so many memories. Family is all we got. We're not perfect, God knows. But we've survived. Because we stick together. And we love each other. John, now I'm on where you're marching to. Kathleen's dead. I found him at the bottom of the stairs. I think she fell. They're calling this whole thing a crime scene. Is this normal? What's going on? What are the police looking for? We believe Michael Peterson murdered Kathleen <gasps> in cold blood. It's fiction. It's fabrication. I got a call from a couple documentarians. It's totally normal. Nothing's normal anymore. Not anymore. I'm worried about some things that will come to light. Come to light. Sooner or later, everyone's gonna know who you are. Did Mom know? It's always two things with Michael. Michael? That's his name? Yeah. Unless he's pulling a long con. It's my life on the line, and I want to tell my story. And I promise you, when we're on the other side of this, things will be better. To La Familia. And to the ones we miss. La Familia. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, so, um, oh, itchy eye. <laughs> um,. That was something. All right, uh, so starring Colin Firth and Tony Collette. I like Colin Firth. He's he's a great actor. He's been in in many many things. The only thing that comes to my mind right now is the King's Speech, but I, I know I've seen him in a bunch. He was in a, a Paddington, I believe. I hope I'm getting. I, oh, I really hope I'm getting them getting them right. Uh, uh, he wasn't the king's man. Yep, the king's speech. He likes king stuff, I guess. <laughs> uh, 
not Paddington. Mamma Mia, Bridget Jones, and Bridget Jones Diaries and Baby and all the Bridget Jones stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no, he's a he's a well-renowned actor. He's super good. He, he kind of I don't know if he's classically trained or not, but he seems like one of those who takes his job seriously, and he he gets it done every time. Um, and then we got Tony Collette, and she is a great actress. My first thing I remember her seeing in, her, uh, seeing her in was uh, it was called uh, United States of Terror, where she played a woman with DID or Dissociative Identity Disorder. Um, basically, she had multiple personalities living in her body, and she would have to deal with that as a mother and a wife, not just you know regular person out here with with mental health issues but she had to deal with those type of things she's been in all sorts of other things she was in little miss sunshine loved her in that <laughs> i love little miss sunshine it's a it's a great movie um she was in the sixth sense i don't remember that but there's a reason why i don't remember because i've never seen the sixth sense <laughs> we'll watch it eventually i just haven't got to it uh, she was in Hereditary. I have not seen that because I do not do scary movies like that, especially supernatural ones. But this cast looks pretty solid. The movie looks, uh, excuse me, not movie. The uh, it's a limited series on HBO Max. It looks super interesting. It looks kind of one of those uh, true crime style um, movies, films type of thing. I am interested in seeing it. I'm probably gonna watch it. Uh, I'd, I like stuff like this, but I I can feel I'm probably gonna get bored after a couple of days because true crime isn't necessarily my wheelhouse. But I do like to pop in and, and get a little bit of information and knowledge that I didn't have before. I would rate this series a three, three and a half out of five. Um, if you're into true crime and you like stuff like that, basically where. Uh, someone gets murdered and you have to find out who did it kind of a whodunit type of movie i like it and this is it for you go ahead and, and check in drop in and watch it um after you guys watch it please feel free to come back and just let me know how it is um uh, tell me if i should stick around till the end does it get crazy do they ever actually find out who did what because apparently um, they're not sure and I haven't done any research onto the actual crime or or what happened behind the scenes. Um, they also pulled a lot of real life footage from this and I, I'm curious about that. Uh, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about my videos, my setup, anything you guys want to see in the future, drop it down in that suggestion box below. As always, take it easy.